Hi, David Snell here with ExecutiveRestoration.com. Another tip for the day is when you get through staining something like I just stained a bird feeder here uh, with my first coat of stain. As you're seeing there, it's really starting to take it in to absorb it into the wood and it's going to need another coat of stain. See there, right there? This was the bird feeder that was, had mold all over it. Okay, so I washed it, I disinfected it, I got rid of stains on there. So I'm putting a coat of stain on there, two coats. This is the first coat, but here's the tip for the day. Instead of washing your, your paintbrush out, all you gotta do is put it in a bag. Um, I like using a Ziploc bag. And then you've got a rubber here, a rubber band. So what you do is you just wrap the rubber band around it like that. And you tie it off. Okay. Um, so this way you won't have to clean your paintbrush out. Because I'm going to let it wait probably a, about a day for this stain to work into the wood. Then I'm going to give it another coat in about two days. Hi, this is David Snell. Hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, just subscribe to the channel and give me the thumbs up on this. Uh, so your next painting job, you won't have to clean that paintbrushes. Just put them in a bag. Thanks.